This video is brought to you by cdkeyoffice.com, the best place for buying games, gift cards and software keys on a discount. Simply make an account, use the code FOXY for 20% off and enjoy your purchase. Follow the link in the description for more info. So the most asked thing you guys ask me in the comment section down below is how to fix the black screen problem with OBS. And this problem I noticed does come in two variations. One to the people are trying to record their displays and the other variation of the problem comes to people are trying to record their gameplays. In this video I'll be showing you how to fix the display capture variation of the problem and I am going to be showing you how to record the other variation of the problem in the next video. With that said, drop a like rating on today's video and let's get right into this tutorial. And before we do, I'm sorry if my voice is a bit lower than usual because as you can see it's 1am right now, I'm trying to help you guys and record this tutorial for you but at the same time I'm trying not to wake up my family. So thank you for understanding and let's get right into that video. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to need to do is obviously add a source. Do you add a display capture source? Name it display capture, choose one of your monitors. Display capture and if this doesn't solve it then make sure you are not actually hiding your display. And I know this is pretty basic, but a lot of people do not actually notice this stuff. But if the problem still persists, I mean, this is not the fix I'm talking about. This is a still a black screen. Then all you need to do is right click your desktop at a clear space. Go to display settings. Wait for it to load. Scroll down. Go to graphic settings. Then make sure this says classic app. Go to browse. Then go ahead and browse to your actual OBS folder. Then select your OBS program, press add, then go to options. You obviously have the power saving GPU, which is, um, I'm actually willing to bet this is going to be an Intel or a CPU GPU for you. And this high performance GPU is going to be your actual graphics cards. So let me actually tell you guys why you guys have that black screen problem. So if you have like a laptop and you actually try to record with OBS, your laptop is actually displaying your desktop through your actual CPUs graphics cards. Okay, so it's not using the actual main graphics cards and it does that to save power. But when you actually launch OBS, it's going to use your actual GPU to record your monitor because now OBS is recording the, the wrong GPU, the GPU that is not displaying anything and hence you get a black screen. The only thing you need to do to fix this is go ahead and select the right GPU which is going to be the first one, the power saving GPU if you have a laptop. Then go ahead and press power saving then go save and you can go ahead and open OBS again and add a display and now it should work. If your problem is not solved yet then be sure to leave it in the comment section down below and I will be absolutely happy to help you out. Also stay tuned for the video after this because I'm going to be talking about the same problem but with game capture so maybe that fixes your problem. But anyways this will wrap it up for today's video. Hit that like button to help this video reach as many people as possible and possibly help them out. I mean who knows maybe this reaches someone that who needs it. Hit that subscribe button as I'm on my way to 4,000 subscribers and all help is appreciated. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.